It was like a, a road game that I've never played in before, and especially against a team like Kansas. Their fans were electric and loud, and I remember walking out, and our crowd was... Our crowd was loud, but compared to what I heard from the Kansas crowd, I couldn't hear myself think for like 10 seconds. And that was when I was like, okay, we're playing a uh, national powerhouse. everybody after we beat Irvine. It was the best nine days of my life. I was just ready to play. I, I worked so hard for that moment that I didn't want to underperform since especially a lot of people were watching. And I knew a lot of people in Canberra were watching too, so it was big for me. You know, it was just surreal to be there and after watching that for so many years and just being a part of that and like actually playing in those games with all the media that we're getting and you know, it was just phenomenal. I'll never forget that feeling. Ever since I started playing in 2009, people have said I wasn't good enough. And each level I've gone to, people said I wouldn't succeed at that level. And went to junior college, people said, oh, it'll be tough for him to go to America. Went to Division I, I redshirted, and people were like, oh, he's not going to make it. And now that I'm doing things and people are saying I'm possibly, possibly going to play in the NBA, people are saying, oh, he's not tall enough, he's still not good enough. So, you know, I'm, I'm used to it and it continues to fuel my fire. I would say the first moment where I got really hurt by what someone said was when I got cut from my ACT team in 2011. The coach, I'm not going to say his name, but the coach, he basically told me that I was athletic, but I didn't understand the game and I couldn't understand the game at that level. And, you know, my athleticism helped, but to play at the national level, I needed to be smart and um, I just needed to be able to think the game. And, you know, that, that bothered me a lot and it still bothers me to this day. You know, people say a lot of things and people say, you know, that I'm not tall enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not fast enough, I can't shoot well enough. Um, you know, I, I'm just athletic or something like that. You know, people always find their excuses. Mainly it, it affects me when I'm working out by myself and nobody can hear me or see what I'm doing. And I just, you know, I just remember what people say. If I'm having a bad workout, I say, that's what they want you to do. They don't want you to, you know, be great. Or they don't want you to get, get better. If you get cut, get in the gym that night, stay in the gym and keep working on the things that they say you're not good at so that the next time they see you play, you've improved on those things and they can't say you're not good enough anymore. I feel like the first, the first step to getting better is self-criticism, you know, realizing that, okay, you're not as good as you think you are. You need to work on some things. Whenever I work on something I'm not good at, you know, it's always a struggle at first and I always get frustrated, but I, I always remember, you know, it's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it, so. Just, just keep working and just, just stay on your path.